they can talk and they can negotiate and decide to cooperate. Right. right. So unless they have that, the right. only option is to defect. Exactly. If the individual really has no guarantee that the other guy will cooperate, then really the best decision for him to do is to defect. But if you work as a group, you're in trouble. This group will <laughs> be in trouble. Let's say, really, we put this into a evolutionary situation. Uh, the real case, suppose you have a group of monkeys. You know, monkeys have a lot of fleas in their you know, skin and all that. You can see, if you go to the zoo, many uh, times, how much time the monkeys spend to catch the fleas. <laughs> the fleas are not good. Not only they suck the blood, but also they spread the disease. So it's really important to get rid of the fleas. But there's one part the monkey couldn't do himself or herself, the back. So that's why you see many monkeys, actually, they have each other with catching the fleas on the back. So the, the point here, hey, you catch it for me, I'll catch it for you, right? We all do doing good. But the point here, that's a cooperative. It's a cooperation between monkeys. You really can guarantee that, okay, I you know, have you this time, will you have me? <coughs> what about my back? But the natural selection actually determines the group which has the strategy of mutual cooperation has better survival fitness than the group which just care for itself. Because you will see what happens if you help each other out, then you will reduce the disease and increase the fitness, the group will survive better. The other group which you know doesn't do this, certainly you know, if you don't spend time to catch the, the fleas for the other guys, for the other monkeys, <coughs> nobody will, will take care of you either. But eventually the group, as a group, and each individual in it, have a lesser fitness value. And if you compete to the group, they so compete with other groups, that, that group will die out. You know, similarly, if you say that other folks, suppose uh, there are another example uh, <coughs> that psychologists today say, Suppose you are uh, you have a uh, humanitarian on the test uh, the people's good um, morality, and suppose you have two persons as a test subjects, and in each different each person in a different room, and A and B let's say now and then, and you decide you tell the um, the person A say suppose if you you have two choices one is cooperate with the other guy in the different room. Or you defect against the other guy in a different room. And the two choices are the same. What happened? If you decide to cooperate with the other guy, you will get five dollars for what? For you know your good moral judgment. Same thing with the other guy. If, you, if both guys cooperate, both get five dollars. And you decide to defect, and the other guy cooperate, and then you get ten bucks because you know you, are, you, know, you seem to make a smart judgment. But the point is that if you decide to defect, and the other guy also decided to defect, then the humanitarian would be upset or you know, angry with the condition, human condition, and say, you both should lose one dollar. And if both guys decide to, you know, one, one guy decided to defect, the other guy decided to cooperate, then the guy to who decided to cooperate will lose, you know, will we get nothing. Oh, no, actually, I'm sorry. Um, if you both have to defect, then you um, lose no money but gain no money. But suppose if you decide to cooperate while the other guy decides to defect, then you are just uh, too um, gullible and then you should be penalized for making that kind of uh, judgment. You'll be penalized for one dollar. So the outcome, the pain outcome is that. If both person decide to cooperate, each person got five dollars. If both person decide to defect, they got nothing. And if one person decide to cooperate and another person decide to defect, the person who wanted to cooperate will be penalized for one dollar, and the person who decide to defect will be given ten dollars. 
and they try this out, and most people would decide to choose that they have a defect, right? And if that's the case, if both people decide to defect and you are trying to try to do what you will do, you know, you gain nothing. But if you decide to cooperate, each person at each time gain five dollars. So eventually, suppose the humanitarian, you know, is really the name for the nature itself, and the person we are really competing species, but at some time we want to cooperate, and we have a choice to cooperate, and it tells us the cooperation is a much better strategy for you to adopt. So that's really how the uh, cooperation comes to life. You can like, even extrapolate like, and say, hey, this is, this is really the foundation for socialism. No, no, no. Like, it's not the foundation for socialism. It's the foundation for cooperation. Like well, okay. Well, but, yeah. but you can't you can, like, use that as a sort of, almost like sort of a jumping off point and say that in a, in a, if you want a successful society, you need to have some kind of mutualism as a basis for it. You have to be able to cooperate, you have to be able to share. You see? More or less equally. No, the, the point here, the difference between socialism and this kind of is that for this, <coughs> even for your own interest, it's better to cooperate. Absolutely. It's not really to certify your interest to help some other people. It really just works for your own interest. Socialism is different, you know, at least many people understand socialism is that I sacrifice my own. In order to have the other people you know, say whatever you know the situation calls for. But this is basic. Even for your own survival. But but in a community, it's really I mean, you can say you can make the uh, the argument that this is great for the or it's great for the individual to sell out the other people or to scam as much as you can. Yeah, it's great for that one person. But how long is that one person gonna be able to do that? And how right. long is that one person going to be able to remain living right. in a thriving, civilized society? Yeah. So you can you can suck all the blood you want, but at some point, the well is going to run dry. So the point that's also a good uh, uh, point to make. Uh, it also has really um, natural stories there. Suppose you have a group of you know monkeys, and before they are good, you know, cooperators, each have each other. But suddenly, you know, there's a new monkey who jumped into this group, who are a free rider. You know, the other monkey scratch his back, but he didn't scratch the other. Instead, he spent the time trying, you know, to uh, court and mate with other monkeys. If that's the case, eventually, the whole group, after a couple of generations, because you know the advantage that monkey had with the time to mate with other monkeys, his genes will be spread more. And imagine the whole group will be dominated by the monkeys who don't cooperate. And what will happen then? That group will just lost the competition advantage with other groups. And, and what I'm saying is you can you can make the argument and I, I sort of am, I guess, that that's where we are right now in our society. Yeah. That's true. That's not you see if the group is really relying upon, we call that a uh, visual stable uh, strategies. That kind of strategy, uh, visual, this kind of strategy, the, the rational self-interest consideration, is evolutionary stable. But the point here, that even if evolutionary stable, is not the best decision for the group. But the group, if equipped with some <coughs> other mechanism, like they have a detection mechanism, Hey, that guy, he didn't scratch my last time, so this time I won't scratch his back anymore. Or you have a law enforcement. That's monkey, the bad monkeys, kick him away, kick it up. That will help the group maintain its cooperation, even facing some outsiders like that. And so, you know, it's always an evolution, you know, so we call that arm race. You know, you have this concentration, you know, what you can do, you know, it just doesn't work hard, and the other group.